there are going to be three reactions to Islam even today. There are going to be people who say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they will take pride in it, and they will see it, they're honored that they're Muslim. And no matter what, nothing is above Allah's word. Nothing is above the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The obedience to them is supreme. That guidance is beyond criticism. And they believe that in their heart of hearts. Even when they make mistakes, they know the mistakes are theirs. They can be flawed, they can be mistaken. The deen of Allah is not mistaken. The deen of Allah has no problems. The deen of Allah has no criticism. On the other extreme, you will get people who absolutely hate Islam and the Muslims. You're gonna get those people. They're gonna be on the other extreme. And guess what you're gonna get in between? We should have a little bit of compromise. We should, I mean, we don't have to be that, I mean, stern in our belief in the Qur'an. I mean, we could take things lightly a little bit. After all, it is 2016. You have to just, you know, go, go with the times a little bit. That reaction of, let's just kind of work both out a little bit. Because, you know, if you really truly believe, you might become too extreme. So we have to balance both sides. That's actually a byproduct of that original hypocrisy that used to exist back then. Our deen, by definition, is already balanced. Thank you very much. You don't have to come in and offer it your version of balance. It's already got the best of this world and the next balanced for us by Allah Himself. So when you come along and I come along and say, you know what, let's balance, let's have a balanced approach to Islam. Uh, is there some new balance that you just came up with? Or is it your own cowardice, your fear? You don't want people to look at you funny. You're too afraid of them. You want to look good in, in terms of PR. You just want to you know, suck up to the people around you. And your, your own low self-esteem is now being imposed onto Islam, to this religion. That will happen now too. So as we study this, we have to actually kind of look in the mirror too. About you know, what kind of mentality towards this religion we carry. Fazadahumullahu And by the way, when people have that kind of disease, then maybe we should take a more balanced approach. Allah allows the disease to what? Increase. And when it increases, eventually they say, some things of our religion just don't make sense. Then it increases some more. You know, Quran is okay, but this hadith stuff, I don't know. And then it increases some more. You know, there are some surahs of the Quran, they don't even seem relevant anymore. And then it increases some more. You know, Quran, yeah, but there's so many religions. We're all, they're, all religions are good. Then it increases some more. I don't really believe in religion. I don't believe in organized religion. And it increases some more. And you know, I'm kind of agnostic. And maybe there's a God, maybe there's not. Who cares? I have a job to do. I have money to make. It's, you know, like towards good or bad. لَتَرْكَبُنَّا طَبَقًا عَن طبق. Disease continues to grow and increase and increase and increase. Mm. And you have people that used to be Muslim, and by the time they're done, they are preachers against Islam. Or to, their only job is to instill doubt about Islam to other Muslims. That's what they'll become.